Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. In this lecture, we are going to study the AMD modulation using the rectifier. In the previous lecture, we studied the AMD modulation using the envelope detector. So the AMD modulation using the rectifier is is uh, performed using this circuit. We have a diode and a resistor followed by the low pass filter, and then we have the DC blocking capacitor followed by the resistor. So the AM modulated signal is applied to this diode, and the diode is going to uh, remove the negative part of this AM signal as a result we are going to have only the positive part now this is actually our half wave rectifier so as a result of the half wave rectifier we know that the half wave rectifier basically produces a, a square pulse uh, a periodic square pulse of whose Fourier transform was found out using uh, example 2.8 in example 2.8 we found the Fourier transform of the square pulse which was omega of t is equal to 1 by 2 plus 2 divided by pi cosine omega ct minus 1 by 3 cosine 3 omega ct plus 1 by 5 cosine 5 omega ct and so on. This was done in example 2.8. Here we have a square pulse and whose Fourier series was found out to be this thing. Now the output of the amplifier which is Vr of t is going to be equal to this green part is my output of the, of the amplifier which is equal to 1 by pi a plus m of t. Upper portion is actually equal to a plus m of t but the Vr of t that is the output of the amplifier is going to be equal to 1 by pi a plus m of t. I am going to do it mathematically in few seconds. Now when this 1 plus a, uh, 1 by pi a plus m of t is passed to the low pass filter, all the ripples is going to be removed. As a result, we are going to have the signal only 1 by pi a plus m of t. Now this, when this 1 by pi a plus m of t is passed to the DC blocking capacitor, the DC uh, component A is going to be removed as a result we are going to have only the message signal which is 1 by pi m of t. So in this way we can the recover the message signal from the amplitude modulated signal using the rectifier. Now we know that the output of the rectifier is given by this thing so in this case the rectifier signal is multiplied by the AM modulated signal. So the AM modulated signal let's say the output of this A uh, half wave rectifier is Vr of t and the AM modulated signal we know that this is equal to A plus M of t cosine omega ct. Now this is multiplied by the half wave rectifier which is actually omega t and W of t sorry which is actually W of t and W of t we know that that is given as Vr of t is equal to A plus M of t cosine omega ct multiplied by this thing which is 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi into cosine omega ct minus 1 by 3 cosine 3 omega ct plus 1 by 5 cosine 5 omega ct and so on. Have a t over here as well. Now when this is multiplied we are going to have the r of t is equal to 1 by pi a plus m of t plus other terms of higher frequencies. So this is actually our output of the half wave rectifier. So this is actually our Vr of t. Now after this it is passed to the low pass filter. After passing to the low pass filter all the uh, other terms of the higher frequency uh, uh, all the other terms of higher frequencies will be removed. As a result we are going to have Vr of t is equal to 1 by pi a plus m of t. So that is why here we have the 1 by pi a plus m of t after passing to the low pass filter because all the high frequency components are filtered out. Again this is going to pa be passed to the DC blocking capacitor as a result we are going to have 1 by pi m of t. So in this way we can recover the message signal from the amplitude modulated signal using the rectifier.
थैंक यू